said that before. What am I doing? Why do I keep going? Why that, do I keep going fast? That. I'm going to go hard to God for me. Don't even trust myself. God forgive me. Why? 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 God forgive me. Why do I keep doing? 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 Why do I it might be two verses actually. Um, the first one is 1 John 2 16 says, For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the other one is Galatians 5 16. It says, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. I believe lust is the silent killer for, you know, a lot of men a lot of women but this is more so directed to the man because nobody really wants to talk about it and it's crazy because when we was in the world shoot when i was in the world it's like we always used to talk about lust whether that be pornography um talking to women having multiple women like it was real life in the world and it still is is that i mean you a man if you had the most women or you well, i don't want to say you a man nobody really you know what I'm saying really go by that but you you feel me? Like you cool if you got the most women or, you know what I'm saying, type business. So, you know what I mean? It's a lot of people that's praised for it. You dig what I'm saying? And and I think that we need to start speaking about it more. You know what I mean? And it's crazy to me to even be saying that just because I dealt with lust for so long. You feel me? And it really started my freshman year in college. It really started in high school. You feel me? But it got enhanced even more. You dig what I'm saying? Because I went to college. I went to Florida State. So that already really speaks for itself. You dig? And... I played basketball and stuff there too, but but I say it's a silent killer because as men, it's like um, yeah, we we gonna keep it a thousand on this on this video too, y'all. But but like for the man, semen retention is real. Like I do believe we as men, we it's like our energy. You dig what I'm saying? And I say that to say because I think everybody know. You know what I'm saying? When you a man and you release or you know what i'm saying it's like it's like it feels like an energy getting taken out of you for real. like you know what i mean like it's it's real to our energy and i do believe that's why you know what i'm saying in the world they push like sex and women and things so much on us you feel me because it makes us like real deal like zombies y'all like if we keep it a thousand like we real deal you know what i'm saying worship less we real deal um, be bound to lust in the dark, you feel me? And I was one of those ones for, for, I can see how, you know what I'm saying, like releasing and not doing semen retention, how it can take, like, it changes your mood, it changes everything. Because when I was in college and even in high school, I used to be so irritated, like just for no reason. I wouldn't be just lashing out at, you know what I'm saying, a random person or nothing like that. But I'll be so irritated for no reason. And me looking me looking back now, it's like, okay, that's why. You know what I mean? It's like, that's why I was lashing out. That's why I was irritated. It's because, uh, you know what I'm saying, pornography, masturbation, being with women, it was like, um, deep down, it's like, what lust does when you're doing it, not, you know what I'm saying, like, the right way within marriage and stuff, and you feel convicted, it make you feel like, you condemn yourself so much. So you be real deal mad at yourself. And when you mad at yourself, it starts to put it on other people. You know what I mean? Where you get irritated at with somebody or, you know what I mean, lashing out at somebody. It's like those type things be things that, like, it be inner. And that's why I said on my Instagram story is that, not on my Instagram story, but my Instagram post is that you got to fix the inner first and the outer be a chain reaction. And a lot of times when people be lashing out or, doing this this way or being mad or hey and it'd be stuff that they got to fix on the inner and that's just a side note but like there are so many people bound to lust I, bro i dealt with it like i said well, for so long bro like since a young and after i do it i feel so awful like why did i do this like why i would look at pe like people's questions i'll have dms like how you deal with lust how you do with that and I would just look at it like, bro, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. You know what I'm saying? And I would respond to some people. I'd be like, you got to give yourself grace. You know what I mean? Because the thing with lust does, it makes you condemn yourself 
and you'd be so mad at yourself. You'd be feeling so bad and convicted just from it. Um, like just me looking at all that type of stuff, I even was even like, I ain't gonna care. I don't even say scared, but it took me so long to do this video for real, for real. And I'm gonna give y'all a few ways of how I be dealing with it sometimes. And I feel like it do creep in uh, here and there. You feel me? Like them late night thoughts and you know what I mean? And um, I do believe like, that's just a fleshly craving. You, know, you don't have to say yes to the flesh. And what lust came from with me, I got introduced to it at a young age. Just from, I feel like everybody kind of got the same story where they friends in high school and stuff was, um, you know what I'm saying? I was talking about porn and all that type business. So you you be so curious when you're at a young age. And then my parents going through what they going through. I was We was always alone a lot, whether that be at somebody else's crib or you feel me, something else. So I would just all right, man, what, what is this like, you feel me? And I would just, I'll be, you know what I'm saying, wanting to check it out and stuff. And then ever since then, it was kind of like, you feel me, and an addiction that a lot of men deal with it now, but they ain't gonna speak about it now. And I feel like I can speak about it now because I know who I am now, you feel me? And I feel like a lot of times people will be embarrassed about it, woo -woo, but man, there's so many people in this world, so many men in this world that be bound to it silently. And I, this is how you can tell when a man, I'm not saying with every situation, but you can tell with a man how they're bound by lust is by like them not being able to hold a conversation, right? Or them uh, not looking you all the way in the eye or them like little things like that where you can kind of tell. Um, yeah, you can kind of tell because shoot, I done dealt with it too before. Like in certain instances, I would catch myself. I'm like, bro, why am I even, you feel me? But I wasn't even thinking like that when I was in you know what I'm saying when I was in the world, because I was more so thinking like, shoot, how can I, you know, what I'm saying how can I talk to the next girl? Like, how can I, you know, what I mean, like, let me let me go DM another girl. You feel me? So, yeah, like me looking back now, it's like you start to realize like little things like that, and that just come from fasting. That come from semen retention. That come from, you know, what I'm saying like, when you be bro, when you on semen retention, you really on like, not lusting and, um fasting and stuff it gives you it boosts your confidence up where you start thinking about things you would have never thought before you know what i'm saying especially when you spend the time with god because when you in god you're going to expose a lot of things that you never thought you was addicted to or had or you know what i'm saying still dealing with and um yeah bro like mine was the number one thing was lust and it took me so long to realize and um understand why i kept going back because i never knew like in the, in the moment, you never know why you're doing it. Like, it's always that question, like, why did I just do this? Like, why I keep going and doing this? Like, why do I keep, you know I'm saying, looking at pornography? Why I keep, you feel me? So I think a lot of times I'll find myself going back as if I have a bad day or something go wrong or something don't go my way. And it's like, I would tend to go back to, I mean, old things. And it would be so, when I look back at it, so ignorant. So you feel me? Like I just let something so small mess up my day. But I wouldn't even think of like a me like kind of like going to pout and then going to do it. It just it'll be a, a, a kind of like a spiral of things that add up to it. You feel me? And I would just mess up, and I'd be like, bro, I feel so awful afterwards. I'll be feeling crazy, convicted, and and I used to ask God a lot, like, why do I keep going back? Like, God, I don't even want to do this. Like, why do I keep going back? And I'll real deal be praying these things and asking God, like, God, help me with this. Why do I keep doing this? And it was real deal crazy, bro, because I'm going to tell y'all this story real quick. I'm telling y'all, when I was going through the healing phase of, you know what I mean, when I first came into God, I feel like that was the most spiritual warfare I've ever had dealt with in my entire life. Like, whether that be through dreams, whether that be just, just so much stuff. When I talk spiritual warfare, I'm talking real deal spiritual warfare because, um, man, my flesh wanted to do lust so bad when I came back into God. It was like when I came into God, the lust got heightened, which is actually crazy to say, but it real deal did. And I'm going to tell you all this story too, but I had a dream that I was, um, in my dream, I was having sex with a girl. And this one I was real life, like, this one I was kind of back and forth with lust. And, um... Basically, like, it was pretty much, like, I was feeling, like, so awful. I was feeling bad about it because I did it. I messed up the night before, you feel me? And, and when I say this, y'all, look, this, you know what I mean? Like, viewer discretion is the vibe. This is for, you know what I mean? Like, your kids watching this don't watch this. You dig what I'm saying? This is for the men. This is for the women. Um, shoot, you know what I'm saying? We finna get deep. So this is when I was, like, messing up. 
and I was doing, you know what I'm saying, masturbation. I was doing going back to women. Like, it was like, this was after God, y'all. I was, it wasn't like a constant thing where I kept messing up. It was the, the thing that would mess me up is because it was in a sense of like, I'll be on a, a streak and then I'll mess up. I'll be on a streak and I'll mess up. And I'll be on a long streak and then I'll mess up. And I'll just be praying to God like, why do I keep going back? You feel me? And that's what will be making me condemn myself. That's what be making me feel so bad because I'll be going on these long streaks where I'm like, man, I ain't never going back. And then I'll end up going back. And there was one time I ended up going back and I had um, I had a dream. And I, in my dream, I was having sex with a woman. And I'm having sex with a woman. I couldn't even see the, the girl face or whatever. But um, bro, it's even crazy just to even like talk about or even speak about it. But while I was having sex with a woman, the woman started to turn into it like a serpent, a snake. And it was like a green snake. And the green snake means temptation. And um, yeah, and while like while I was having sex with her, I started like feeling her and her her flesh started to get like scaly. And then in my head, I'm like, wait, what the word is going on? And while I'm having sex with her, like I said, she started to turn into a snake. And in my brain, I'm kind of getting scared and stuff. And then I actually in a dream started to still do it with her, even after she started to turn into a snake. And um that's when I woke up and I was just like, I was feeling so awful. I was just staring into space. I was just feeling so awful because I'm like in the dream, I'm like, why did I not back off or like, why did I? And it was kind of like how it was happening in real life. It's like, why do I keep going back? Even when I know it's temptation, even when I know it's not helping me, you feel me? And God would show me so many multiple dreams of, I'm not gonna get up every, uh, every single dream, but he would show me multiple dreams where I would be, um, it's, it's like I'll be fighting myself like nobody else is fighting me. And that's what lust is. You real deal fighting yourself. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is stopping you. Nobody is forcing you. You real deal is fighting yourself. And another dream, I was fighting my mom. And I'm not going to go too deep into that dream, but uh, that's another story in itself. But basically in the dream, I was fighting my mom and I was running up the hill and I saw a big old python black snake. And I was trying to kind of stay away from it. I was, I was really kind of scared of it and I was staying away from it. And then I ran up the hill and I was wondering who was chasing me and I turned around and it was my mom, you know what I'm saying? And that dream basically represents that, um, like I was fighting myself because my mom, me and my mom looked smack dab alike. And then on top of that, I asked her, I'm like, why are we fighting? And then she answered me back and said, I have no idea. It was like the feeling, it's like the feeling I be knowing when I have my dreams of what it stands for because of certain situations that's going on in life. Because y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's spirit first and then the world. Spirit come first. And that's why I'm so passionate about, I'm saying what I'm talking about now, what I'm, what I'm even speaking on for real, for real. You are your own enemy when you keep going back to old things. I do believe like things like that happen when the right people are chosen. That's nothing to be, that's nothing to be cocky about in ourselves. That's mean, that's something to be, you know what I'm saying, having a certain type of confidence because God chose the right one. You feel me? And that's why a lot of times I do believe um, a lot of situations can happen to us, but we got to know that, you know what I mean? Between all the situations we go through that, you know what I'm saying, who's on top in each and every situation. And that's God for sure. And that's what I had to do with lust is honestly give it to God because I was so fed up where I'm like, God, I, I can't do this no more. Like, I, I'm like, I keep going back even when after long streaks, like, why do I keep doing this? And the thing which which gave me a breath of fresh air is so crazy. Like, when I tell you I've been going through a lot of spiritual warfare, like, it's been crazy. I'm not, and the thing is, I'm not saying this stuff to look cool. I'm not telling y'all dreams to look cool to, you feel me? Like, who got the most coolest dream? Nah, because this stuff just be real. I speak about this stuff because the same way I have dreams, the same way uh, it be spiritual battles, it can be happening with y'all, or it can be, you know what I'm saying, just anything. Because like I said, it goes spirit in the world. And when I tell y'all this story, it, it is kind of what gave me the confidence to know that, okay, like God is the finishing work. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not gonna say this per the person's name, but basically somebody else had told me they had a dream about me. And in the dream, um, they said I was in the kitchen and I was holding snakes by the neck. I was holding about, I think three or four snakes. It was a black one, a green one, and the green one is which caught my eye. 
You know what I'm saying? And it was an orange one, I'm pretty sure. But the green one is what caught my eye because green, the green snake is what caught my eye when she was explaining it to me. And when she was explaining it to me, I was real live and shocked because um, she kind of wasn't even a person that kind of looked into the dreams like that. It was kind of one of those things where it was kind of we just laughing about it like, oh yeah, I had a dream about you and it da da da. But in my head, I'm like, bro, there is no way. You feel me? And basically um in a dream i was holding three or four snakes one was green one was black and one was orange and um they was asking me like what are you doing with those what are you doing with those and i basically was having them all by their neck and i said uh, i don't know but i got to get rid of it and i grabbed well, i had the snakes uh by their necks i put them all into the trash can and zipped them up and the person said they was like lashing at me still and then i uh i closed the trash can and that was that but it gave me so much confidence because just before that, I was literally praying to God, like, God, help me. Like, how do I get rid of this? How do I stop this? And then he flat out sent somebody else to tell me this, like, like basically, like, I'm going to overcome it. That's nothing but God. But by him showing that person that dream and then telling me, it was like one of those things of, like, you're not overcoming it by your strength. You're overcoming it by mine. And, um... That's what really gave me the confidence with it. And I actually still even messed up after that, but it was the fact that it was kind of like one of those things, like, okay, now it's a fight, you feel me? And um, with lust, that's what it's gonna be. Honestly, y'all, but you gotta, the way to defeat lust and the way to kill lust is number one, I do believe you have to fast. Number one, I believe you have to fast because you are killing your flesh. Like that's that's plain and simple, you're killing your flesh. Um, what fasting does, it makes you say no to things. It makes you say no to your flesh. And them little no's, them little easy no's can make the big no's easier too, you feel me? And that's what fasting helps wise and it's healthy for you to also. But um, I do believe fasting is a huge thing that can help help the lust. And then the number two is you gotta stop trying to do it on your own. You gotta stop trying to you know what I'm saying be have like the silent battle you feel me because when you have a silent battle I had a silent battle and I was losing every time because I was trying to do it in my own strength because I was a I'm a person that like I don't like like when it's kind of weird I guess in a sense because I don't like when somebody has to say I can't do something so I was kind of making it a little game I guess in a sense like no nah, I'm gonna overcome this like I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and every time I was trying to do it, say, like, I'm going to do it, I failed each and every time. Until I'm like, God, you're going to have to help me. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to help me. And that's when you got to literally, like, give it all to God. You have to give it all, like, all to God and ask God, like, how do, how do I deal with this? How do I do that? And then on top of that, y'all, like, another, th like, the things you're going to have to know your flesh. You know, your flesh is at an all-time high and you're a person that lusts a lot. Shoot. What I had to do is like, I had to remove myself from a lot of stuff. Like if I know it's, it's going to be multiple women over there and I know me, I'm not going to go play around and go over there. You feel me? I'm not saying like women going to be everywhere. I'm talking about like, you know what I mean, like certain events or whatever. You know what's going on. You're like, no, I can't do that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Later at night, you got your phone and you scrolling on Instagram. You probably don't need to be scrolling on Instagram after nine. Ain't nothing good on Instagram after nine because all this going to be, all this going to be, you already know what's happening. You don't want to play games with yourself. You don't want to start, oh man, I'm not going to do it. I know myself. Nah, you don't know yourself because at the end of the day, It'd be the same cycle, you feel me? And um, you gotta start putting, now I don't even wanna call it restrictions, but you, that's what it is. You gotta start doing things like that where you know yourself, you feel me? If you're in a room by yourself and you know yourself, get out that room, you feel me? Whether that be with pornography or whatever, like don't be on app late at night, you feel me? And um, those are some things that I started to learn also where, you know I'm saying you don't wanna start putting yourself in certain uh, positions where you know your flesh already is going to fail. And number three, and it really should have been number one, you're going to have to pick up your word. You're going to have to start spending more time with God. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to have to start putting down the distractions, social media, and start deep diving into the word. You know what I mean? Because it's all there for us. It's just a lot of times we get distracted with so much mess that it throws us off. And then at the end of the day, the whole day you ain't spent time with God. And then at the end of the day, you find yourself slipping up because your mind wasn't focused on God. It was focused on every other thing but him. Lust is, you know what I'm saying? And lust ain't nothing to play with, y'all. Like, it's real deal a spiritual battle with lust.
and I go for all my men. And the thing is, it's our energy, y'all. Like, plain and simple, it's our energy. Semen retention is real. A lot of times, we just gotta know that we're not perfect. We do mess up, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta stop condemning yourself so hard. It's okay to have conviction, but after a mess up, don't condemn yourself so hard where you dang near or just giving up on life. You dang near or you let that one day affect your whole year, you feel me? Even through the mess up, you gotta give it to God, Joe. You know what I'm saying? God's still sitting there waiting on you to give it to him because he knows each and every mistake. He picked you knowing your mess ups. He picks you knowing it all. He knows each and everything about you. So stop acting like it's brand new to him that you messed up. He been knew you messed up and he still chose you. Only thing that be knocking us out the game is ourselves because we condemn ourselves too hard. God ain't just finna keep condemning. He gonna correct us, but he not gonna condemn us. And even in his word, it says there is no condemnation in God. You feel me? Like lust, I know lust is big. Lust is something that, you know what I'm saying, messed up a lot of relationships, you feel me? And um, that's just what it is. I do believe also like why men cheat, been lusted for so long, that we still got that spirit, you know what I'm saying? We still got that, that lustful spirit in us, you feel me? And then when we get a wife and stuff, we still have that with us, you know what I'm saying? And that's why you can find men going back to old women or cheating, and you know what I'm saying, of that nature. So that's why you gotta nip it in the bud now, you feel me? And you got the choice each and every day. Like, like I said in my last video, choose this day who you gonna serve. And you gotta ask yourself each and every day, you pick up that phone each and every day, you pick up, pick up that computer each and every day, you about to text that girl. Ask that question, choose this day who you will serve. And you wanting to do these things, you know what I'm saying, masturbation, pornography, um, you know what I'm saying, having sex with women, you wanting to do these things don't mean that's you. you know what I'm saying that is the worldly flesh. You know what I mean? We picked up so much stuff along the road, you know what I'm saying, when we was in the world. So we're going to have those cravings, but you having those cravings don't mean that's you. If you got to unfollow girls on Instagram, so be it. You feel me? That's what I had to do. I had to unfollow a lot of girls on Instagram where I know you feel me? Like, it ain't it ain't finna be nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing good. Man, so be it, bro. Instagram go be Instagram. You feel me? It ain't nothing against them. But if you following a lot of girls that, you know what I'm saying, showing stuff or they doing this on their Instagram and all the type business, like, you just you just playing, you playing Russian roulette. You dig what I'm saying? Like, you know deep down in your heart. You know what I mean? That you shouldn't even be looking at it or you shouldn't even be following them. You, you know, you feel me? Like, just plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? When you go on that semen retention and fasting, Watch how your confidence start coming back and you're gonna look back and realize how much lust played a huge part on shoot your life in general. You know what I mean? And you gotta declutter your brain and that takes practice and that takes time of spending time with God. The world make it, you know what I'm saying? The world and Instagram and social media, everything make it worse because they portraying it now, you feel me? And they making it cool, you know what I'm saying? They making it, you know what I mean, something that uh, we as men got to start locking in and they trying to make it acceptable, you feel me? And it ain't straight up. Like, I don't care if somebody look at me crazy, oh, bro, not he, he tripping or this and that. Man, I messed up plenty of times. I ain't hiding nothing. I messed up plenty of times. I went back to women. I went back to pornography before. I done built back to masturbation. I done went back to all three of those, no care. But me knowing who I am now, you know what I'm saying? Knowing how far I came and like who I am in God, and me even just seeing that dream made me realize and have the confidence like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can overcome lust, you can beat lust. The thing about it is, is when you speak up about it, it, it helps more than you think for sure. And I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. Again, I'm gonna do a part two. I'm gonna catch y'all in that video for sure.